In this problem, we're told an elevator, the mass of it is going to be 4,850 kilograms, is designed so that the maximum acceleration is 0 0.0680 g's. So what are the maximum and minimum forces the motor should exert on the sporting cable? So if we draw a diagram what's going on here. This is going to be elevator. And then our force going down is going to be mass times gravity. And then going up is going to be the force of tension, right? So the cable. And then what you need to know to solve this, or first what we should do is just write down our given. So what are we given? So we're told that the mass of the elevator, which is M, is going to be 4,850 kilograms. And then the uh, maximum acceleration is going to be 0 0.0680 G. And so keep in mind, this is going to be in both directions. So the maximum up and maximum down. So it's going to be plus or minus. So just keep that in mind. And then in order to solve this, uh, you're going to need to know this formula. F of T, which is just the force of tension, is going to be... Uh, it's going to be equal to, or basically, force of tension minus mass times gravity is equal to mass times acceleration. So keep this formula in mind when you're solving these problems. It's uh, very important. So what we're going to want to do is just get force, or F of T, by itself because we're trying to solve for the forces. So if I move this to the other side, uh, just by adding it, right? So it's going to be mass, or Mg, plus Ma. And then what I want to do is we can factor out an M. So it's just F of T equals M times G plus A. So you might see this formula. It's pretty common too. And then what we're going to want to do is, just, uh, or we can do this both ways. What we want to do is essentially plug in what we're given. So let's plug in what we're given. So F of T, right, we're solving for it, equals the mass, 4,850 times G plus, and then we're going to get a G here, right? So uh, I'm just going to write plus or minus for now, and I'll show you why in a second. So it's going to be plus or minus 0 0.0680 G. And so what you should notice here is that we can factor out a G again. So F of T equals V A or 4,850 times G, right? Because we're factoring out this G. And then it would be 1 plus or minus 0 0.0680 G. Or not G, the G goes away. So essentially now we can just solve. So the minimum and maximum are going to be dependent whether we plus or minus. So the max is going to be adding, the min is going to be subtracting. And so keep in mind what G is. G is just force of gravity, and we estimate that by 9.8 meters per second squared. And so if we go ahead and plug it in, so let's start with the max. So max, uh, F of T is going to be equal to 4,850 times 9.8 and then it's going to be since it's max we're adding so 1 plus 0 0.0680 and if you go ahead and solve this uh, or plug it in your calculator you should get 50,762 newtons and what they want you to do is round here make this an 8 so it'd be 50,800 and then round or not round it turn it into scientific notation and you can just do that by moving the decimal point. So you just move one, two, three, four. And so when you do that, it's just going to become, or one, two, three, four, so four. It's just going to become 5.08 times 10 to the fourth newtons, right? So that's just a way to write it in scientific notation. So that's going to be the max. So the maximum force. Now let's do the minimum. So F of T is going to be equal to the same exact thing except for we're minusing. So 4,800 in, or yeah, 4,850 times 9.8, and then we just minus here. So 1 minus 0 0.0680. So if you go ahead and plug this into your calculator, you're going to get uh, 400 or 44,297.96. And then keep in mind it's Newton's. Uh, and we can round this to just be for uh, 44,300. And so, Newton's right. And so what we want to do is make this into scientific notation like the last one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's just going to be about 4.43 times 10 to the 4th, right? Because we're moving four decimal, uh, decimal places. And so, this is going to be Newton's. So, this right here is going to be the minimum force, 4.43 times 10 to the 4th Newtons, 
and your maximum force is going to be 5.08 times 10 to the fourth newtons. And so hopefully you found this useful.